Good morning. We hope you're having a lovely weekend. I'm Rebecca Lowe, Tim Howard, Robbie Musto, alongside you here on USA Network for our coverage all day today. I want to talk and follow on, really, from what Jim Beglin was talking about with Jesse Marsh. And I want to ask you, Robbie, when we start to look at a Jesse Marsh team, and, of course, it's still early days, mm. when he gets the team that he really wants, playing the way that he really wants, what does that look like? Describe for us. Well, I think it would be preferably young. I think it would be a very coachable bunch of players. Um, and I think it'll be incredibly energetic. I think we've seen that already. We know that this lead squad under Bielsa ran a lot. Well, it's kind of similar, maybe in a little bit different way. He describes that she is more, more in control, more positional, the, the word that he uses. But I think that's what you're going to see. He wants to attack and attack quickly. And then the press comes in, the recovering the ball. Um, so if you think about attack... You know, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. If crosses come in or through, through balls go through, it doesn't work out, that's when they win the ball back. So you just repeat that. Attack, recover, attack, recover. And that's kind of what we're starting to see. Now, in the Premier League, with the, the quality that they face, that's hard to do and get into that constant rhythm, but that's what he wants. The energy, the attackingness, and, and don't be afraid to make mistakes because we're going to win the ball back straight away. Tim, what can you add to that? Well, very spot on there from Robbie. He believes in his methodology. He, he believes in... If we train a certain way and we have certain patterns to our training and tempo to our training, that will carry over into the game because everybody will understand how we want to play. I'll understand how the player in front of me wants to play and the player behind me. So they all have the same ideas. He wants to pass forward, play forward, run forward. And as you said, not be afraid to make mistakes. Use that verticality. There isn't this side-to-side -side probing. They play at a very, very fast tempo, as you mentioned. Very energetic. Not... Uh, if you're going to make your mistakes, make them higher up the pitch. And defensively, I love the way they play. Again, it's not this haphazard running, but it is. It's straight line defending. Robbie and I are used to the old days where you just get down and you defend and you jockey and you give space. There is no space. Jesse Marsh wants his defenders to run straight through the ball, whether that's Aronson, Tyler Adams, anybody on the pitch. Run straight through the ball. If if you miss and the guy Cruyff turns you and comes, the next defender is coming. And so they're always trying to hurry up the tempo. That's actually how they train. They train at a very, very high tempo, fast speed, because he wants to mimic the game. And Jesse Marsh, it feels, when you watch him in a press conference, Tim, he really likes to share his knowledge. And what's interesting about Marsh, I think for years in English football, managers have come up just through the game. Yeah. But Jesse Marsh has been at Princeton University, mm -hmm. studied history, mm -hmm. wrote a dissertation about earthquakes in California. He has a whole different background. It feels like Jesse Marsh is now more reflective of where mm -hmm. football in England at the highest level is going. You have to be more than just your playing career. Absolutely. And, li and he, listen, Jesse is, as you mentioned, he's a scholar. He's an uber-confident individual. And he's a very confident teacher. I played with Jesse. Good player. Hard-working midfielder. Didn't like the world ablaze with his skills understood the game, he studied the game, and now when you look at his, his intellectual confidence along with the schooling that he's had in the game, he's traveled the world to understand techniques and coaching styles, he's implemented that, that gives him his confidence. It comes through in his press conferences, it comes through on a touchline, and clearly it's coming through to his players. It's like a new group of managers, the likes of Graham Potter I would include in that yeah. as well, the thinkers, Robbie. Yeah, I think so, and I think you're seeing it throughout the, the sport actually in terms of recruitment, it's all analytical, and I think that's the way that we're going, and he certainly is one of those. Very comfortable with press conferences to talk about his philosophy, what he's trying to do, um, but let's cut to right now, and he's got a big job on. And this is his team. There's some big moves, some really important players left the club. He's brought in players that's obvious that he's worked with them before. So the team is really starting to look mm. like his side. And, of course, we're really early into the season. It's a really good start. But if he can have a good season and, the, and these new players can kind of thrive in, in this team, then that's going to be massive kudos to Jesse Mark. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.